Since the discovery of the Titanic wreck in 1985, the question of whether it is possible to raise the ship has captivated many people. The Titanic, once a symbol of human progress and ambition, now lies at the bottom of the North Atlantic Ocean, approximately 3,800 meters below the surface. But is it really possible to salvage this iconic ship? In this video we delve into the technical, logistical and ethical challenges associated with such an undertaking and explore alternative ways to preserve the legacy of the Titanic. The RMS Titanic was built by the Harland and Wolfe shipyard in Belfast, Northern Ireland, and was owned by the White Star Line. The ship was designed to be the largest and most luxurious passenger ship in the world. Measuring 269 meters in length and weighing 46,328 tons, the Titanic was a technological marvel of its time. Construction of the Titanic began in 1909 and was completed in 1912. The ship featured modern amenities such as electric elevators, a swimming pool, a gymnasium, and exquisite dining and living areas. On April 10, 1912, the Titanic embarked on its maiden voyage from Southampton, England to New York City, USA. On board were approximately 2,224 passengers and crew, including some of the world's wealthiest people, such as John Jacob Astor IV and Isidore Strauss. The journey started smoothly, but on April 14th, four days after departure, the ship struck an iceberg. Despite the crew's efforts, the Titanic sank in the early hours of April 15th, resulting in the loss of over 1,500 lives. The disaster led to numerous changes in maritime laws and safety regulations. One of the biggest challenges in salvaging the Titanic is the enormous depth at which the wreck lies. At approximately 3,800 meters below the sea surface, extreme conditions prevail. The pressure is immense, about 380 times the pressure at sea level, and the temperature is just above freezing. These conditions make any salvage operation extremely difficult and dangerous. Specialized submersibles and remotely operated vehicles, ROVs, are needed to reach and operate at this depth. After more than a century underwater, the Titanic wreck is in a very poor state. The ship is severely corroded and parts of it have collapsed. Microorganisms, such as the bacterium Halomonas titanici, have attacked the steel, making it fragile and brittle. Attempts to raise the ship could further damage or even destroy the wreck. The structure of the ship is already weakened in many places, and any effort to lift it could lead to further collapse. Despite significant technological advancements in recent decades, limitations remain. Modern salvage ships and equipment are sophisticated, but raising a wreck of this size and at this depth is still an enormous challenge. Specialized robots and remotely operated vehicles would be needed to investigate and stabilize the wreck before it could be lifted. Innovative methods, such as using airbags or other buoyant objects, have been considered, but there is no guarantee these techniques would succeed with a wreck of this size and condition. The cost of such a salvage operation would be astronomical. Hiring ships, equipment and experts as well as conducting the operations could cost hundreds of millions of dollars. Additionally, there are no guarantees of success, increasing the risk of such an investment. Financial backing would likely need to come from both public and private sources and finding investors for a high-risk project with uncertain outcomes could be challenging. The Titanic wreck lies in international waters, meaning multiple countries would need to be involved in any salvage operation. Obtaining the necessary permits and agreements between various national and international bodies would be a complex and time-consuming process. Organizations like the International Maritime Organization IMO, and the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization UNESCO, would likely play a role in coordinating and approving salvage attempts. Raising the Titanic would pose significant environmental and safety concerns. The salvage operation could disrupt the marine ecosystem around the wreck. Additionally, transporting the wreck to the surface could be dangerous for both the crew and the ship itself. Potential leaks of oil or other harmful substances from the wreck could have detrimental effects on the ocean environment. It is crucial to ensure that any salvage operation adheres to strict environmental and safety standards. Ethical considerations. A major ethical dilemma 
is the respect for those who perished in the disaster. The Titanic wreck is often considered a maritime grave. Many relatives of the victims and historians believe that the wreck should be left undisturbed as a tribute to the victims. Disturbing the final resting place of more than 1,500 people raises ethical and moral questions that must be carefully considered. There is also a debate about preserving history. Some people believe that the wreck should remain on the seabed as a historical monument. Others believe that salvaging the wreck could contribute to historical research and education. Finding a balance between preserving the wreck as a heritage site and obtaining valuable historical data is a challenge. Commercial interests are also at play. Raising the Titanic would likely generate significant public interest and potentially profitable exhibitions and documentaries. This commercial aspect, however, must be weighed carefully against ethical considerations and respect for history. It is important that commercial activities do not undermine the integrity and respect for the wreck and the victims. Alternatives to salvage. Instead of salvaging the wreck, underwater research can be an alternative. Modern technologies such as sonar, ROVs, remote operated vehicles, and underwater robots can gather detailed images and information without disturbing the wreck. This can provide valuable insights into the history and current state of the Titanic. These technologies allow for extensive studies of the wreck's structural integrity and the effects of long-term submersion in seawater. Another approach is the digital preservation of the Titanic. Through 3D scanning and virtual reality, a detailed and interactive representation of the wreck can be created. This would allow people around the world to explore the Titanic without needing to move the physical wreck. Digital reconstructions can be used in museums, educational institutions, and online platforms, providing broad access to the history of the Titanic. Developing educational programs and exhibitions based on existing data and images can also be a valuable way to keep the history of the Titanic alive. This can help tell the story of the ship and the disaster in a respectful and informative manner. Collaborations between historians, maritime archaeologists, and educational institutions can lead to programs that provide in-depth knowledge about the Titanic and its context in maritime history. Future Prospects Technological progress continues and future innovations might overcome some of the current technical challenges in salvaging the Titanic. Nanotechnology, improved robotics and advanced materials could offer new possibilities for deep sea exploration and salvage. It is important to closely monitor developments in maritime and underwater technology. A significant step in the future could be the further development of international treaties and cooperation to ensure the protection and management of historic wrecks like the Titanic. Such agreements could provide guidelines for ethical and safe salvage operations, as well as for the preservation and study of underwater heritage. Initiatives like the UNESCO Convention on the Protection of the Underwater Cultural Heritage can serve as models for such cooperation. Increasing public awareness and engagement in the protection of maritime heritage can contribute to preserving the Titanic and similar wrecks. Through educational campaigns, documentaries and exhibitions, people can be informed about the importance of these sites and the need to protect them. Public support and interest can also help mobilize resources and funding for research and conservation projects. Conclusion. The idea of raising the Titanic is technically, logistically, and ethically complex. The challenges are enormous and the risks high. While it is a fascinating concept, salvaging the wreck in the near future seems unlikely. Instead, we can focus on alternative ways to preserve and study the history and heritage of the Titanic. The wreck remains a powerful symbol of both human ambition and vulnerability, and deserves to be treated with respect and care. Preserving the Titanic on the seabed can help honor the memory of those who perished and provide valuable lessons for future generations.